Patricia got kicked out. Hello. Hello. Hey, Lena, how are you? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine, thanks. Nice to see you again. Welcome back. You can yeah. see there's a cat on the table. <laughs> oh, yeah? Hey, come here. Can meet Hades. Oh, <laughs> cute. <laughs> uh, uh -uh. And this is Mia. <laughs> oh. um, hey, Ali. Uh, hi, Sam. Welcome back. Thank you. And who else is here? Hi, Patricia. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. And you? I saw you come in and then leave, so I, I guess you got kicked out. <laughs> no, no, no. The, the problem was I... I don't be able with the big technologies like camera and microphone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sorry. Okay. No problem. Um, and hi, Sophia. Welcome. Hello, teacher. How Andy. are you? Nice to I'm see doing you. Very well, thank you. And you? Yeah. I'm fine, thanks. I'm good, thank you. And hi, Nelson. Hi, Samantha. How are you doing? How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm fine, thanks. Nice to see you. Um, so this is lesson two of the detective series, The Case of the Missing Ring. So if you missed the first lesson, it was yesterday at the same time. So here's the link. This is lesson one. Um, if you take a look there, you, you'll find the document attached to the class. Um, and you can watch if you want to, you know, follow along and see what you miss. Um, so today we're continuing the series and um, we'll maybe get a little closer to discovering who stole the ring. <laughs> so, um, who, I guess, Elena, you were here yesterday. Yes, I was. Was anyone else here yesterday? Ali, were you here yesterday? Unfortunately not. Uh, just yeah. bef before the class, uh, I had uh, electricity problems. I couldn't join. Ah, okay. Well, if anyone is interested in following the series, you can always watch that first lesson, and then you'll know uh, you'll know what we're doing. Um, but basically, it's a detective series that we're reading. Uh, we're learning some idioms and expressions, and yeah, that's what we're doing. So I'm just gonna put it up on the screen here. So as it says, we're on episode one, questioning Ralph Hummingbird. So we, we have um, a picture here. <laughs> this is Detective Bosley, and this is Ralph. And we've got a little recap, which is just a summary of the first episode. So it's a summary of what we learned last class. Um, and since, Elena, you were here, why don't you read the summary for us? This recap. Yeah, okay. Um, in the intro to, uh, to the series, you learned about the Hummingbird Huming family. Cynthia Hummingbird's grand granddaughter, Emma is both to, to be wed. There is only one problem. The wedding ring has been stolen. This ruby ring is a family treasure. Detective Bosley will be con conducting the investigation. He will question all the all, all of the residents of Hummingbird Manor. Cynthia, Cynthia is filming the investigation. Why would she do this? You be the, the detective. The first suspect is Ralph. Hummingbird. Very good. Hummingbird. 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 Yeah. Good. So this is the storyline. So once again, there's a ring, a ruby ring. It was stolen. And the detective is going to question everyone in the mansion to try to discover who stole the ring. So that's what we learned in the last lesson. Did you know? Um, Ali, can you read this? Did you know? Okay. Uh, did you know 
The word question can be a noun and a word. The detective will question word the residence of Hummingbird Manor. He will ask them questions about where they were the evening of the robbery. They will have to provide an alibi. A good alibi can prove a suspect's innocence in relation to a crime. Good. It's called an alibi. An alibi. Al alibi. Yeah. Right. So um, he's questioning them, asking them questions. Um, and their alibi, it's like your story to say where you were on the night of the crime. Um, and it proves that you're not guilty. That's your alibi. So we, we're going to find out what these people's alibis are. This is our first guy, Ralph. <laughs> Um, Elena, do you remember about Ralph, who he was? Is a, is a right. Um, he married with, uh, with the daughter of Rido, yeah? Yeah, I think so. So he would be her... Uh, um, son-in-law. Mm -hmm. yeah. Her son-in-law, right? He married her daughter. Um, Suspected motive. What is the motive? Can anyone tell me what that means? Yeah. Why? Uh, why uh, he could? Uh, why he could do it? Yeah. So the why? Motivation. Motivation. Yes. Exactly. They think it's jealousy. So maybe he's jealous. <laughs> I don't maybe. know. <laughs> maybe. Location of questioning. We don't know yet, but somewhere in the mansion. We'll we'll find out where. And what's his alibi, um, Sophia? Uh, his alibi is watching TV with his mother. Right. So he says, oh, I didn't do it. I was watching TV with my mom. <laughs> so we'll find out if it's true. First, uh, we'll go through our vocabulary. So, um, Dodi, can you read the first word for us? First words. Rerun. Past television episode. Also called repeat. What is the sound? Okay, thank you. Good. Um, past TV episodes. So when, for example, there's a brand new episode of, um, I don't know what show, of uh, Friends, there's a new episode, and you watch it. And then they play the same episode again uh, a month later. It's called a rerun. So when you replay a show. Um, okay. Nelson, what about the next one? To get down to business. To focus on the important matter. Good, exactly. So if I say um, we're in a meeting, and I say, okay, stop playing around. It's time to get down to business. So get serious. Start doing some work, right? Um, okay, very good. And Patricia, what about the next one? Uh, to mean the word to someone. To very important to someone. Good. So, for example, I would say um, to my... Husband, if I had a husband, <laughs> say, dear husband, you mean the world to me. I love you so much. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, so someone that you care about very much. Um, this next one is a good expression. Uh, Ali, can you read that one for us? Okay. Born with a silver spoon in one's mouth. Uh, rich at birth. Never had to worry about money. Good. Has, have you heard this expression before? No. Or do you have a similar one in your own language? In my case, yes. Yeah. What, <laughs> what language do you speak, Patricia? Spanish. Okay, there's a similar expression? Yes, but um, uh, we use uh, braid. Uh, B R A I D 
under the um, arm. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, but it's kind of the same idea, right? And it means the same thing? So yes, it's say... the, the, the same um, mean. Mm -hmm. um, so the prince um, has been rich since he was born. He was born with a silver spoon in his mouth, for example. Um, so been rich. You're born into, or another way to say it is to be born into money. If you're born into money, um, that's what that means. Um, in Russian, we can say to be born in gold, into gold. Born into gold. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's more that's sim more similar to the expression, right? To be born into gold, born into money. Um, good. Okay. Uh, Elena, what about the next one? Okay. Um, to mean nothing, to be unimportant. Right. So if you say um, that means nothing to me. It's like, I don't care. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't care. It doesn't matter. It, it's not important to me. Um, okay. Nelson, the next one. The love of one, like, one true love. Right. So this would go to my future husband as well, right? <laughs> you are the love of my life. So it's the one person that you love so much. Um, Patricia, the last one, or sorry, the next one. Uh, bingo. <laughs> no? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, a way of saying you guessed or answered correctly. Good. Correctly. So, mm -hmm. so it comes from the game bingo, right? Yeah. Does everyone know the game bingo? Yes, yeah, maybe, I know. Maybe? Yeah, so yeah. it comes from the game, but sometimes people just say it in real life, too. Like, Bingo. Yeah, they're, they're t saying, oh, what do you think about this? You say the answer, and they go, ah, bingo. <laughs> yes, that's perfect. Um, okay, Sophia, the next one. Uh, on the contrary, introduce, introduces an opposite example or idea. Good. Have you heard this expression before? No. So, for example, um, let's see, Joe could say, I think cats are better than dogs. And then um, Andrew says, on the contrary, dogs are much more loyal than cats, for example. So it means yeah. the, the opposite, opposite idea. And it's usually used at the beginning of a sentence like this most of the time. Mm -hmm. It's kind of, it's a little bit formal sounding, on the contrary. Uh, okay, Ali, what about the next one? Okay. Emptiness, a mm -hmm. home or feeling after the grown children have moved out. Yeah, have you heard this before, an empty nest? No. The idea is like the mom is the bird and her babies are, you know, the little bird babies. <laughs> so once all of the birds grow up and fly away, you're left with an empty nest or an empty home. Um, it's a pretty common expression, empty nest. Um, and there's one more, Dodie. To have ones. Hard set on something. Mm -hmm. To really want something. Good. So I could say, um, I really had my heart set on going to the movies last night, but nothing interesting was playing. Right? Or I've really got my heart set on going to the movies tonight. So you can say, I've got my heart set, or I have my heart set on something. Okay, any questions about the vocabulary, those expressions? Teacher, I have one question, but sure. uh, it's not related about our subject. Oh, that's okay. This is, this is about uh, your professional. 
Yeah. Because I want to clarify that you just mentioned that I think uh, you're staying in your future husband. Are you single now? <laughs> uh, yes, I have a boyfriend. I have a boyfriend. <laughs> oh, you have a boyfriend. So, yes, okay, that's, Jody. That's, I'm just so confused. <laughs> because if you don't have a boyfriend, it means we have a chance. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all. Thank you, teacher. Oh my gosh, you're really I funny. Appreciate. Okay. You're funny. I'm glad you can't see my face. I'm hiding with the the screen, so. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Okay, thank you, yeah, teacher. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> um, yeah. So if you downloaded the document, you have some space over here where you can make notes. Like if you want to write an example or anything, that's what that that's there for you. Um, hi, Vincenzo. Welcome. Hello, hello. Um, okay, so we're going to go down. Um, now what we have to do is fill in the blanks with the missing words. So all of the words here are from the list. Um, and what we'll do is read out the dialogue together and try to fill in the blanks as we're reading. So I need a detective. Who wants to be the detective? Me. If nobody won. I won. Oh. <laughs> Me, I think it's Patricia. Yes, yeah. I won. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Who no. wants to be Ralph? Me. Me is Jody. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So, Detective Patricia. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> okay, so go ahead. You can read the dialogue. Um, when you come to a blank like this, uh, you can just say the word blank. Just say blank, <laughs> yeah. and then, okay. then pause, and we'll come back and find the answer together, okay? Okay. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I have to read, no? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Uh, sorry to inter interrupt your show, Ralph. Uh, could you tell me where you were the night the ruby ring disappeared? I was watching blank of your murder mystery with my mother. She can't get enough of reality TV. Good. So this first one, does anyone know the answer? Uh, three rounds. Three yes, rounds. very good. Yeah. Mm. Three, three rounds. Round. Great. Round. Okay, detective. Okay, uh, I'm glad uh, you enjoyed the series. Let's get down to shall we? Tell me about your relationship with your mother. Good. Get okay. down to business. My mother. I'll read it. Yeah. So get okay. down to business was the last one. Get okay, down. No. To yes. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Jody. My mother means the word to me. I miss my father, though. I heard Mr. Hummingbird was a fine businessman. You will work with a silver, uh, a silver spoon in one month. Good spoon in your in your, mouth. In your <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. You see they do. <laughs> I, I was reading the the word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. You you were were oh you were you were no. You were you, you were, were burned yeah. with a silver spoon in your mouth, weren't you? Yes, but m money means nothing to me. I care more about love. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you love your wife? Very romantic. Of course. Of course. Leila is the love of my blank. I just <laughs> what is it? I I just wish she feel the same way about me. Good. Love of my life. Oh, sorry. That's my phone. <laughs> Good. Okay. Love of my life. Good. Yeah. Mm. It won't let me type there. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, I yeah. see why. I had my highlighter. Sorry. Life. There we go. Okay. Uh, let me guess. 
things changing when you had the twins? Bingo! <laughs> Bella used to look at me like Paul. Gokes at Emma. You know the look? My mother looks at you that way. You and Paul. Is that jealousy I sense? <laughs> <laughs> Your daughter's fiancé is a handsome man. Jealousy? Don't be ridiculous. I'm happy for Emma. <laughs> she doesn't re realize how lucky she is. Really? <laughs> Does it bother you that your mother adores Paul? On the contrary, if my mother didn't approve of Paul, Emma wouldn't be marrying him. She'd, she'd lost her inheritance and the guest, the guest house. Is that, is that right? And Emma has he heard uh, no, da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, said um said um that to no hoy. Those things I assume. Actually Emma doesn't care as much about money as her mother does. She'd she'd by she'd be happy living in the jungle. It's me that wants Emma to move into the guest house. The sooner Lila and I can have an empty house, empty, nest. the better. Good. Empty nest. Empty nest. Better. Yeah. Empty nest. Very the good. Better. Good job. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. So, any questions about the vocabulary in the dialogue? No, it's okay. It's okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just one second. I have an audio. Oops. <laughs> uh, one second. Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah. Hello? Yeah? Okay. Um, so I have um, the dialogue, the audio. It's just about a minute long. I'm just going to play it so we can listen to it all the way through. Okay? So this way you can hear how they pronounce everything, their intonation, that sort of thing. So here we go. I'm just going to play it. Sorry to interrupt your show, Ralph. Could you tell me where you were the night the ruby ring disappeared? I was watching reruns of your murder mystery with my mother. She can't get enough of reality TV. I'm glad you enjoyed the series. Let's get down to business, shall we? Tell me about your relationship with your mother. My mother means the world to me. I miss my father, though. I hear Mr. Hummingbird was a fine businessman. You were born with a silver spoon in your mouth, weren't you? Yes, but money means nothing to me. I care more about love. Do you love your wife? Of course. Lila is the love of my life. I just wish she felt the same way about me. Let me guess. Things changed when you had the twins? Bingo. Lila used to look at me like Paul gawks at Emma. You know the look. My mother looks at you that way. You and Paul. Is that jealousy I sense? Your daughter's fiancé is a handsome man. Jealousy? Don't be ridiculous. I'm happy for Emma. She doesn't realize how lucky she is. Really? Does it bother you that your mother adores Paul? On the contrary. If my mother didn't approve of Paul, Emma wouldn't be marrying him. She'd lose her inheritance and the guest house. Is that right? And Emma has her heart set on those things, I assume. Actually, Emma doesn't care as much about money as her mother does. She'd be happy living in the jungle. It's me that wants Emma to move into the guest house. The sooner Lila and I can have an empty nest, the better. Okay. Put my headphones. Okay. Samantha, right, I have so one question. Yeah. Sure. Adores. It means uh, love? Yeah, it means loves. 
Yeah, the same in no. French. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Any other questions about the expressions, the vocabulary? No? Okay, do you guys believe Ralph? <laughs> yes. You think he's being honest? Yes, for me, teacher is very confident how to answer the detective. So mm -hmm. I think she, she, he's speaking uh, confident. Uh, I believe to him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Pretty sweet. laughs> um, okay, so we've got a little bit of vocabulary review, and then we'll be talking about um, the episode. So first, we have to match the expressions. Oops. The first one, reruns, look at A to K, and just skim, skim through, and tell me which one matches, reruns. Repeat, letter B. B. Good, B. Two, get down to business. Yes. A. A. Good, focus on the important matter. Three, mean the world to someone. C. C. Good. And four, born with a silver spoon in one's mouth. My letter D. H. Born. No. H. Yes, H. Well, born well, with well. a silver spoon means you're wealthy at birth. You grow up rich. I wonder if... Uh, here, one sec. Ah. Aha. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> mean the world to someone? Uh. Uh, oh, really? yeah. It was That's, C, right? Yeah, this yeah. is better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, at least we cannot repeat the... Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's okay. We are okay. no beginners. And mean nothing? Exactly. G. G. A. J. One, exactly. J. Have no importance. J. J. Have yeah. no yeah. importance. Ah, yes, yes. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> the love of my life? D. D, good. One on, D. The, on the contrary? Just the opposite, K. Yeah. Good. K. Perfect. Your heart set on something. Want badly? Yeah, good. H. Want badly. An empty nest? Uh, e. E? Uh -huh. e. No more kids. And bingo. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> okay, so... Match each word or phrase to the example with the same meaning. Um, Enrique's parents were movie stars before he was born. Which three, one? Number three? Yeah, three. number three. Number three, yeah. Yes, good. So he was born with a silver spoon because his parents were probably rich, right? Movie stars. Uh, Mio really wanted to go to Disney World. Number two. Good. Yeah. The only thing that matters to Katie is her cat. Mean the world to someone. Mean the world to someone. I've seen this episode three times. Rerun, rerun. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you hate that? I hate when that happens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Both of Lindsay's kids have left for college. Empty nest. Great. Yeah. All right. I think we're okay with the vocabulary. I don't know if I can... F I might have to make it smaller. Yeah. And it's hard to see when it's this small. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Okay. Um, number one. Ali, can you try number one? Uh, say bingo when I <laughs> guess <laughs> correctly. <laughs> okay. Dodi, number two. I heard the presenter were this organized. Uh, oh, I'm lost now. Uh, I'm lost. What? Uh, okay. Do you, here, I'll pull up the expressions up here. What is it? Get down to business. Yeah, no? I agree. No. Uh, Get down. No, it's not get down to business. Mm -hmm. I hear the presenters were disorganized. Blank. They were well prepared. 
Can you can, can we see the yep, vocabulary? Sorry. Yep. Uh, at least okay. I had the presenter. Men's word at the very important on, on the contemporary on, on the contemporary. Yeah, on the contrary. Uh, on the contrary. On the contrary, yeah. Because it's the, the opposite that, idea. That was I said uh, first I I'm not sure. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't hear it. I thought you said the business get down to business. Okay. No, no, on the contrary. Okay, perfect. On the contrary. Thank you. Okay, good, Dodi. Um, Elena, what about number three? If we don't get to business, we'll never finish this mini meeting. Good. Get down. Get down to business. Yep. And Nelson, number four. My husband is the. It's the love of my life. It means the world to me. Good. And the last one, Patricia? Uh, you can have that photo if you want. It's nothing to me. Good. No? Means? Mean nothing. It means nothing to me. Good. It means nothing. It means nothing to me. Perfect. Very good. Okay. So I think we're good with the vocabulary, right? You'll never forget these words. <laughs> so we'll okay. try. So you'll try. <laughs> I'll quiz you um, in the next lesson. <laughs> okay. okay. So comprehension questions. So we're going to talk a little bit about the dialogue. We, we read it together once, and then you heard it. So how does Ralph describe his relationship with Cynthia? I want you to try to answer without looking. <laughs> so, from what you remember, how does Ralph describe his relationship? He loves he loves uh, also, Cynthia very much. Uh -huh. okay. Cynthia is his mom. Oh? Yeah, Cynthia yeah. is his mom. Cynthia is his mother. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but he loves your mom. Really? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but he does love her, but not, they have, not like they him. <laughs> was the they had a good relationship. She was yeah. the because Ralph he depends on his mother, and he following he followed his mother. She mm -hmm. was the world. Yeah. And uh, he loves his father uh, also. <laughs> his wife, yeah. <laughs> So let's take a look and see what does he say Oops. about Cynthia. Mm -mm -mm. He's talking about his. It's not he. Uh, she's not his mother, but uh, she's mother of her wife. Right here it is. My mother means the world to me. Right. I miss. Yes. Oh no. Uh, mm -mm. I don't know if Ralph is. Let me, let me look. I forget if Ralph is is uh, um, the son or the son-in-law. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, check your key, yeah. check son your document. I'm gonna open the student notes uh, here. So it's right here. This is the notes. Like step uh, shot or what? Let's we see. Call it shot? Here they are. Hmm. Ah, Ralph is the son of Cynthia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Finally. So, uh, yeah. Finally we know. <laughs> Ralph is his son. Lila is, is uh, his wife. So it's his mom. His mom. Oh. Um, yeah. um, okay. Hello. <laughs> so uh, I'll fix it on the card. So it's not son-in-law. It's just son. Right? Yeah. Son. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Son. Much better. Okay. <laughs> So, he loves her very much, right? Um, which of the following does Ralph not care about? Money, his mother, his daughter, or finding the ring? Money. 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 Highlight. Okay. How about um, Sophia? Can you ask us the third question? Excuse me? I didn't get you. Uh, do you see question number three? Yes. Could you read it for me, please? Yes. According to Ralph, Ralph how does Cynthia feel about Paul? So, everyone, how does Cynthia feel about Paul? 
Do you want me to... Uh, Here, she, I'll go up she, so you can see it. She loves the uh, fall very much. She, adore, she adores, adores fall. Adores. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where does she say it? Ah, does it bother you that your mother adores Paul? <laughs> right? Um, yeah. And he says, no, it doesn't bother. It doesn't bother him, right? Yeah. So she adores Paul. Um, okay. What about the next question, Vincenzo? Vincenzo? Hi, Nagoyan. Welcome. <laughs> Vincenzo is Vincenzo too shy today. <laughs> yeah. He might not be there, I don't know. Um, what about Elena? Can you ask us number four? Yeah. Uh, true or false? Detective Bosley wonders if Ralph is jealous of Paul's good looks. Mm -hmm. um, let me Paul. see. Let me see. Let me see. I hear some true and some false. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Good. It's true. This is his motive, right? They think they think he's jealous. Yeah. They think that that is his motive for stealing the ring, right? So, um, the detective wants to see if it's true. Um, very good. Uh, Nelson, can you ask us number five? Uh, what does Ima's father say about the guest house? Mm -hmm. Go back up. So here's the story. What does Emma's father say about the guest house? Is the better because uh, is the place where I going to live in uh, her, uh, his daughter and the son of Lao? No. She wants to move. She wants to move to into into the guest house. So ah, does they. does Ralph want her to go to the guest house or does she want to go? Emma. Emma. Mm hmm. Ralph, no, is the daughter, no? Well, let's read it. Um, Patricia, can you read this last line in the dialogue here? Oops. Sorry. Uh, this one? Okay. The, actually, Emma does, doesn't care as much about money as her mother does. Uh, she would uh, be happy living in the jungle. It's it's me that wants Emma to move into the guest house. The sooner Lila and I can have an emptiness, the better. Right. So uh, the guest house is uh, to Emma um, Paul. No. Yeah. So so what does Ralph say about the guest house? Does he want Emma to go, or does Emma want to go? Emma wants to go. Emma wants to go. Are you sure? Yes. No. <laughs> it's me that want Emma wants. Okay. It's me. It's me that wants Emma to move into the guest house. Paul said. What did? Yeah. So yeah. Ralph says it's yeah. me that wants Emma to move. It's Ralph that wants Emma to move. So this sentence, it's me that wants Emma to move, ah. is the same as I want Emma to move. Yeah. That's what he's saying. Do you see? So Ralph oh. wants that Emma move to the guest house. Exactly. Ralph uh -huh. wants Emma to move to the guest house. That's what he's saying. And uh, now I yeah. can Bad understand the, why she would be happy living in the jungle. Well, he's he's exaggerating. So. Like he's saying, um, alibi. No. <laughs> no, no, no. So he's, saying, he's saying Emma doesn't care about money. She doesn't care. Like she'd be fine to live in the jungle. She could live in a cardboard box. Like money does not matter to her. 
So he's exaggerating. Mm -hmm. He's saying she doesn't need to live in this big fancy house. Uh, mm. She does. She doesn't care. So, and uh, why now? Uh, I don't know. Paul, <laughs> Paul wants that uh, Emma moves moves into the into the guest house. Yeah. So why does Ralph want Emma to move? If we look back here, he's so we know he's saying I want Emma to move to the guest house, right? Um, yeah. And then what does he say in the next line? Uh, the sooner Lila and I. Uh, can have an empty nest, the, be the better. Right. So what does he want? He wants that his, uh, his house will, will be without he, without... Emma. <laughs> their, their, <laughs> their children, yeah? Yeah, exactly. They want some peace and quiet, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So he's they, saying, like, we want Emma to leave because there's, you know, we, we want a nice, big, empty house all to ourselves. You want uh, privacy. Yeah, they want some privacy. They want the kids to move out. Samantha, yes? uh, empty nest, it means uh, empty family house, yeah? Yeah, let me show you a picture. Hold on. Um, okay. So, free of obstruction. Nest, nest. Like, it means family house, yeah. It's like yeah. this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we think of a nest with the baby birds, the baby birds are the kids. They want them to leave so that they can have an empty nest mm -hmm. with, if with I, no kids. Okay. If I want to speak about uh, my family's house, where I don't, I don't live. Now, so I can say that it was my nest, yeah? Yeah, exactly. So you're using a nest as, like, a metaphor for house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay, very good. So I think we're okay with that question, right? So he wants her to leave. <laughs> um and Nelson, can you ask us number six? According to Ralph, how does Emma feel about Bill and Jerry? Mm -hmm. How does Emma feel about her inheritance? What does inheritance mean? Um, yeah, the money or yeah. whatever she's inheriting. Yeah. yeah getting... Um, from which were which were, something which were um, passed on, yeah. Passed yes, on. exactly. That's from last last lesson. So the things that um, your parents pass on to you, exactly, Elena. So, how does Emma feel about her inheritance? Oh, what do you think? I think she don't care about the money or something like that. Yeah, like he doesn't say it exactly right, but it's kind of in this line as well. It says right here, on the contrary, if my mother didn't approve of Paul, Emma wouldn't be marrying him. She'd lose her inheritance and the guest house, right? And then the detective says, oh, she has her heart set on those things. And Ralph says, no, no, she doesn't care. <laughs> so she does, she's not bothered. She doesn't care about her inheritance, really. Um, and, okay, Ali, can you ask us number seven? Okay. Why does Ralph want his daughter to get married? Mm -hmm. what, what do you think? Anyone? Why, why does he want her to get married? Okay, any ideas? Why do you think he wants her to get married? Uh, yeah, uh, because he, he, um, he answered to detective when he asked about je jealousy. Mm -hmm. He asked that, don't be ridiculous. Uh, Ralph is happy for Emma, 
Mm -hmm. And uh, Emma doesn't realize how lucky sh she is. Right. So he does he think that Paul is a good fit for Emma? That's an expression. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, a good fit means like a good match. Good, good choice, yeah. Yeah, a good choice for her. Um, yeah, so he, he likes, he likes uh, Paul. He thinks they're, they go well together, right? Um, okay, good. Let's go over to the next one down here. Making predictions. So this is the same as what we did last time. So now we're going to predict what do we think will happen in the next episode. <laughs> so first of all, do you think Ralph is the thief? Why or why not? Did Ralph steal the ring? No. <laughs> no, because why not? Because we believe, we no. believe him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, he loves her, her daughter. He loves uh, the man which was chosen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he is okay with uh, the choice of mm -hmm. her daughter. Yeah. Okay. And um, he has no any um, motives okay. for, for a stall. The ring. No, you would say um, he doesn't have any motive to steal the ring. Motive yeah. to steal, yeah? Yeah. Um, okay, does everyone else believe Ralph? Do you think he's being honest? Maybe <laughs> he... Uh, can prove uh, uh, what he what was he doing uh, at uh, the uh, ring was stolen uh, because uh, he has a witness maybe. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, uh, he was uh, watching TV with uh, her mom, uh, his mom. Right. So Cynthia is his witness, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, what about number two? Do you think Ralph is jealous of Paul? Explain your answer. He says he isn't, but do you think it? Do you think it's true? Do you think he's jealous? A little, maybe, like all fathers. Yeah. What does everyone else think? Maybe, yes, no, maybe. jealous, no. <laughs> maybe, I don't know. Maybe a little. I mean, let's. if you look at what he says, he's saying, um, look at this one. Bingo. Lila used to look at me like Paul Gox at Emma. You know the look. My mother used to look at you that way. You and Paul. Doesn't he seem a little jealous? Maybe. Maybe. But he says, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's a little defensive. <laughs> mm. Okay. Uh, what do you think Ralph looks like? Describe his looks. Okay. Uh, he's a honest... He's a honest... Uh, he, he's a honest uh, Guy and she, uh, he telling the truth and uh, uh, it's a kind of man or uh, what we call it. I mean, honest and uh, he telling the truth. Yeah, and what about his appearance? Oh, uh, sure. Old Ralph is uh, pretty. He's pretty. pretty. <laughs> yeah. Okay. With the word pretty, you use the word pretty for girls, not boys. For boys, oh, you handsome, say very handsome. Handsome. Uh, handsome. handsome. Yeah. <laughs> Bingo. Yeah. Bingo. You say he's a pretty boy. It sounds. It sounds uh, teacher. Bad. Yeah. I I have a question. Sure. If, if we are uh, describing uh, one man, mm -hmm. if if we don't know. Um, what, uh, how old is uh, this person? Uh, we can say uh, medium old man. Ah, uh, yes, or you can say uh, middle aged. Med me middle aged. Middle aged. That goes for men and women. And to be middle aged is basically like 30, 
to, I don't know, 30 to 40. 50, 60, 50, yeah. Okay. So if you're not really sure, but they're an adult, you can just say they're middle-aged. M- middle-aged. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 30 okay. to 40 because uh, the uh, the life of man is 60. So you can cut it <laughs> up 30 to 40. Okay. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, maxi- yeah, maximum 65. So if you cut it in half... Maximum 65? It- no, I yeah, 65. But in our generation today, you're lucky if you become 70. Oh my gosh! Poor man. Yeah, be- oh, poor because- Rob. No, really, really, because of the chemical what we are eating today. Yeah, we no, you're right. You're we right. We are I'm not like- eating the organic foods. It's true. Our life, our life expectancy is dropping. Hey, Dodi, um, I planned that class about organic food. Did you oh, see it? oh, great! Oh, I will that's join. That's good. I, have, I will um, join. I'm gonna take this down for a second. I have two food classes on Friday. Um, uh-huh. Let me one second. I'm opening. At mm, oh, on Friday, on Friday I couldn't be. Try? No, I could not be because I do my yoga class oh. on Friday. No there problem some, next week. This one is about organic foods, and then I also yeah. made an advanced listening class from Jamie Oliver. Um, oh. Here's this ah. one. He's a cook, huh? Yeah. Yeah, this is Jamie. Jamie yeah, he's a chef. Jamie yeah. Oliver talks about healthy food. Mm. Um, so we're going to watch the video and talk about it. So there's two kind of food foodie classes. So, um, Dodi, you can join those ones. <laughs> yeah, teacher, if you uh, confirm on the burbling schedule, I will make a reservation after this class. Oh, I already did. I just put the links in the chat for you. It's on the schedule. Oh, okay. But <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry to whose lady who cannot attend? Yeah, Elena? Oh, Elena. You can watch in the Hangout after. Oh. You can replay. <laughs> 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 sorry to see that. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so stay tuned for the next episode. <laughs> um, Ali, can you read about the next episode? Okay. The next suspect is Lila Hummingbird. Review mm-hmm. the intro to this series to find out her relationship to the widow. Very good. So next episode, I have not planned this class yet, but here's the link. This will be next episode. It's going to be on Monday at the same time. Okay. So that's when okay. we'll do the next episode. Um, again, if you missed episode one and you want to catch up, you can go back and look at that class. You can get the document and kind of see who the characters are and everything else. Um, okay. Okay. Any questions? No. No. Okay. <laughs> only. Only. We have. Uh, I have only remaining one question. Yes. It's true that you are confirmed that you are boyfriend. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, Johnny. I'm sorry. Are you no, sure? No. Are you uh, sure? Please, please, uh, forgive me, teacher, because when I ask, uh, when I ask that question, I, I didn't see your face because uh, ah, okay. you showed up. That's why I tried to r- me, rerun. I'm being yeah. honest. Uh, oh. Daddy, daddy, yes. it, it's my advice to you. Uh, uh-huh. Prepare a. Great photos for the next yeah. lesson. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you a- know. For mm-hmm. your avatar. It, now it's just. Uh, yeah. Well, um, can see it's like some. A little camera. Sign. Yeah. yeah. No, no. You know, I'm, 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 I'm married. I have two wives. Don't worry about that. Two I'm just wives. Uh, try. You, yes. Oh, I see. Yes, You're looking have, for. Don't worry. I'm just ask. I know. If I know. There I is, know. If there is possibility, <laughs> why not? <laughs> no, sir. No, no, no. no thank you, okay. teacher. I'm okay. just curious, you know. I know. I, I just want to make a little fun. You're funny. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank um, you. I hope I'll see you soon, maybe on Friday or next week, okay? Thanks I tried to be on today. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.